are going to be doing a drawing of a cityscape. A cityscape is the appearance of a city or urban area. It is a picture of a city. And every city has a skyline. And the skyline is an outline of a city. So what you're gonna need for today, you're gonna need a pencil. Um, I highly recommend a ruler and something to outline with. So this can be a Sharpie, a marker, a pen, and then some colors. And if you don't have some of these things, just use whatever you have at home. So I'm gonna start with um, a horizontal line at the bottom. So this is gonna be my ground. I don't want it uh, too low to the bottom, but I don't want it high. So something right here is probably good. So now I'm gonna make my buildings. And uh, buildings, most buildings are rectangles and squares. So you're gonna be doing different rectangles on your paper, different sizes. I'm gonna start from the left and I'm gonna go right. So I'm gonna make a line. Okay, that's one line. I'm gonna make an another line here. Then I'm gonna close this. That's one building. Let's say I wanna make a taller building. Just gonna extend this line higher. Make another line. Close it up. I'm gonna leave a space, and you'll see why I'm gonna leave a space. I'm gonna make another building. Oops. I think this one's a little too high. Close it up. So now I'm gonna make a building behind these two buildings. So I'm gonna get my second building, gonna make a line. On my third building, I'm gonna make a line right in the middle. And I'm going to close it. So now it looks like um, these two buildings are in front of that building. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna skip a little bit, like leave a little bit of space. I'm gonna make a smaller one. Gonna make a line, and I'm gonna make a line on top of this building. See, two lines, close it up. I'm gonna make another line right here. Maybe this one's a little taller. I'm gonna close it up. So these two are behind this smaller one. I'm gonna make one more behind these three. So I'm gonna make a line behind this one make another line behind here and maybe this one i want to have a different kind of shape to the top of the building so you want to break up your line you don't want it to all be the same size and you don't want them all to be just like one line and then you know just like one straight line so it's um, good to do them behind one another. It makes it look a little bit more realistic. I'm gonna make another one. And I'm gonna do like a curve. Maybe a curve building, why not? I'm gonna make another line. Maybe this one I'm gonna make an angular building and then let's just say I have one right here okay so now we're gonna do some details so this can be things on top of the building sometimes buildings have I don't really know what they're called but they have these like I don't know antennas or something um, and then you can add the windows these are details right so I'm just gonna do I'm not gonna do all of these. I think I have one. Done. Okay. You can make your, I'm doing this really fast, but you wanna take your time. Maybe I make a double door. Sometimes buildings um, have, most buildings have a rectangle um, windows or like square windows, but you can, change the shape of them. You don't have to all just have 
a rectangle and a square. Maybe here I have a circular window. Um, maybe here I have a diamond. I'm going really fast, but you get, get the idea. I don't want to keep boring you with the video. So, more windows, more windows. Okay. You can also add things in the background. So you can put a sun, a moon, it can be raining. I'm gonna put some birds. Um, and the smaller they are, the further they look away. They look closer when they're, they're bigger. Okay, so then you're gonna outline. You're gonna get your Sharpie and you're gonna trace everything. I already have one done. So you're gonna trace, okay? And then you're gonna color. So you're gonna get some colored pencils or some crayons and you're going to color your buildings. Take your time coloring. Don't go like, like that, okay? Take your time coloring, go around the windows. You're also going to need to do your color this. This doesn't have to be gray like a road. It can be green, it can be any color you want, and you need to do a color for your sky. So I did mine right here. This is how mine's look, the finish, the finish assignment. Um, you don't have to copy mine, but you do need to color it. Um, if you have colors, please color it. Um, you also can do a different color here. You can make this grass, like I said. The sky doesn't have to be this color. Um, when you think of the sky, skies are different colors. Sometimes it's yellowy orangey, like mine. Um, maybe yours is bluish. Maybe it's a, like you know raining, so it might be a little bit more gray. Um, it can be however you like. Um, okay, so that's the end for the English part. I'm gonna go over this a little bit in Spanish. Um, but just make sure that um, you do your buildings, you color it if you have colors, um, and you know, take your time with the little details of the different um, windows and stuff or background details. Okay, um, vamos a hacer un dibujo de un paisaje or urbano. Entonces, tienes que agarrar, tienes que hacer diferentes líneas. Es, yo recomiendo usar una regla y hace diferentes líneas con, con tu lápiz en el papel y es importante que algunos um, son atrás del otro entonces eso se va a hacer un poco más uh, realístico realistic, realístico um, tu dibujo se va a ver un poquito más realístico si es todo en una línea y es importante que como terminas agarras un marker o sharpie o un lap, lapicero lo trace y después um, puedes colorearlo si tienes colores por favor colorealo esto no tiene que ver y ser igual como la mía esto no tiene que ser plomo puede ser um, verde puede ser marrón esto puede ser diferente color de la sky del cielo puede ser azul puede ser gris si está lloviendo algo y los um, edificios pueden ser diferentes colores